Hi everyone, welcome back to Electronics Geek. I am Ajay. So today we have a multiple opportunities for electronics and electrical candidates. So we will be covering everything in detail. Plus, what are the things you need to add in your resume? We will also cover those things. So stick with me till the end to understand everything. So let's begin. The first opportunity is from the AMD. They are hiring design verification engineer. Hyderabad is the job location. And here the qualification requirement is B, B Tech, that is bachelor's or master degree in computer science or electrical engineering, means B, B Tech or MEM Tech in electrical, electronics, and computer science candidate can apply for this opportunity. However, the skills requirement is you should have an experience or skill set or you have done some projects related to these set. Take okay, whatever they have mentioned here, like proficient in IP label AC verification and proficient in debugging firmware and RTL code using the simulation tools. So these are the basic requirement. Okay. And if you, so if you want to build your career in the design and verification thing, so these are the basic requirement. And other than this, a UVM test bench plus working in Linux or Verilog, System Verilog, C and C++. So these are the basic programming languages or the hardware uh, language you can say. Okay, so when you are crafting your resume, so you will be adding this skill set in your skill section and you should also have to prove your skill sets for that you need to make a projects. So the more the projects you will be making, it's not about the quantity of the projects. It's about the quality of the projects means you will be working on the industry standard projects like AXI protocols, uh, and AG protocols or Ethernet, Bluetooth. If you will be working on these type of protocols and if you have these projects in your resume, then there will be a chances that your resume will get shortlist. So make sure whenever you apply for any opportunities, look into the skill sections. And if this skill set matches with your skills, what you have currently, and those skill set also have the proof you know these things for that you have to make the projects the more quality projects you make the more quality projects you had in your resume the chances will be higher okay and if you need any help related to the resume building so you guys can directly connect with me on one to one resume building session the link will be in the description from there you can easily book it okay so moving on to the next opportunity from meta it's coming design verification engine they are also hiring bangalore will be the location and here the minimum qualifications currently has or obtained a bachelor's degree in electronics engineering, computer science or a VLSI. It means B, B Tech in computer science, electronics and electrical candidate can apply if you have the knowledge of the VLSI or rated field. And here the basic skills is like you should have the knowledge of constant random uh, coverage driven verification or C, C++ verification. Okay, so sub company use C and C++ to, uh, for the verification. And most of them use the UVM or the system very log for the verification purpose. Okay. Okay. And you should also have the experience in IP block using the standard design verification process. Uh, plus you should have the knowledge of tools like EDA tools and the scripting languages, Python or Perl or cell, any of them and understanding in at least one of the following area that is computer architect, yeah, CPU or the graphic process unit. Okay. And here, uh, when you scroll down here, you will see the preferred look uh, qualification. So other than this, if you have the knowledge in UVM system, very log and the protocols, which I talked, you are SPI, I2C and protocols exposure like APB and AXI. So if you have these protocols in your resume, so if you have these protocols in your resume, then the chances will be very, very high. Okay. So make sure to add these in your resume. And if you need any help, I'm here to help you out. So moving on to our last opportunity from the global foundries, they are hiring for the engineers and location will be Bangalore. Here the B, B Tech in Electronics, VLSI, Macroelectronics, Data Engineering or Data Science, even the, even the physical science candidate can apply for this particular application. Uh, you should have the good communication skills in English. And the skills requirement here is like you should have the knowledge of Perl, TCL, these are the scripting languages. And they should be familiar with the EDA tools of the Mentor Graphics, Cadence and Snopsys. Uh, you should have an exposure in the semiconductor process or layout design engineer. Okay, so you all aware like Global Foundries is more into the semiconductor thing. So they need the candidate who can work on these fields. Okay, so make sure to apply for these opportunities. These are absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything for this. It's free. So try to apply as soon as possible before the application get closed. 
all the link will be in the description as well as in the comment section and do not forget to join our telegram group for more opportunities so i will see you in the next video till then take care stay safe and keep applying for a job all the best bye bye